Now it's time to create a new view instance by using a new keyword like so. New view. But before that, let me refresh your memory about JavaScript's objects and how you would add properties and methods to it. Let's create an object and assign it to the variable called person. In this object, we will be adding properties and methods. Let's add name and age property. And also add one more property, say age, which is a method. By the way, any functions inside an object is called method. And let's try accessing this object's method from the DOM element. Create a button. And on click, let's execute this method. Great. So just like we added these properties and methods to JavaScript object, we will be adding various properties and methods to view object. Let's begin by creating a new view instance. Within these parentheses, let's create an object. Let's begin by adding element L property. This is the HTML element where Vue.js application that we will build will eventually render. To build any application, we need to work with some kind of data, right? There is a way to add data in this view object. That is using the data property, whose value is an object. You can add as many properties as you need. Let's add app name just for fun. Now we can access this app name property in the HTML element, which is bound to the new view instance. Oops, not as we expected, right? That's because we need to make sure the view script is loaded first. Let's put this on top and give it a try. Great. Now we can see the actual value of that property. This is such a long explanation, but I had to make sure you're comfortable with JavaScript objects, properties, and methods. Now we are ready to rock and roll in the next lesson.